Hi, I'm Adrian Thomas and I'm the RSPB's project manager working with the Environment Agency on the agency's amazing Medmary Managed Realignment project. We are on one of the last undeveloped stretches of coastline in West Sussex, a place with wonderful wide vistas and a big sky overhead. Yet this has been a coast in peril. Each year, high tides and storms threaten to breach the Shingle Beach, endangering over 300 homes, the main road and the water treatment works. Each year, the Environment Agency had to put a fleet of diggers onto the beach to try and stop the inevitable from happening. Medmary needed an urgent solution. The solution is to construct an inland flood bank, seven kilometres in length, and to gradually and slowly let the seawater into the site. The objectives of the scheme were threefold. Firstly, to sustainably manage flood risk, so provide the flood protection. The second objective of the scheme is to um, create intertidal habitat, which um, helps offset losses elsewhere in the Solent. And the third objective was community involvement and participation in the scheme development. I've been uh, engaged on this project as the ECC project manager. So what does that mean? That means I'm ultimately responsible for programme, um, cost and any changes that occur. And you can imagine on a project of this size, they've been enormous. Perhaps the biggest job for the Environment Agency in the entire Medmary scheme was creating seven kilometres of new flood bank. That meant 450,000 cubic metres of clay to be extracted and built into these banks. But the beauty of this scheme is that it could all be extracted from within the scheme itself, creating wildlife habitat at the same time. This particular project is the biggest one I've ever worked on, and I think it's probably the biggest one where most of us will ever work on. We've had up to 40, 50 pieces of equipment at any given time. Men on site, probably up to 70, 80 at any given time. Until you're actually here at Medmary, it's very difficult to get a sense of the scale of this project. But to give you some idea, 60,000 tonnes of rock have had to be brought in from Norway on giant barges, and they're just to consolidate the ends of the flood defences. Along the south coast, we've got some of Britain's very best places for wild birds, and they tend to be estuaries and intertidal muds, but they're getting eroded, and that's what Medmary will help replace. We expect wildfowl and wading birds from Siberia and Scandinavia to come and use these habitats in the winter. One of the key impacts that we had by creating the Medmary scheme was on the freshwater habitat within the site. So around the outside of the site, we've created a series of new ditches, ponds and reed beds, which will develop over time and be brilliant habitat for water voles and birds. We've been monitoring the excavation of borer pits and, uh, and ditches across the site. We found extensive Bronze Age remains, uh, which evidenced the fact that this was a very busy uh, place uh, during that period. Um, we've also uh, found a fantastic, well-preserved 160 metre long uh, medieval fish weir constructed out of wattle. Uh, and we've also found extensive remains associated with the World War II use of the site. My role on the scheme has been to work closely with the local residents and the wider community to keep them informed of what's going on and also to work with the site team to make sure that the correct signage is in place. Obviously, as people that would have been directly affected by possible flooding, we were very stressed about the whole thing and it was quite nice to be involved. And when MSTAG was mooted, it just became a much more positive, proactive a feeling that we were involved as well with the whole thing that was going on. It was just great. I remember when we first spoke to the community around the suggestions of managed realignment and there was understandable concern but we sat down, we listened to people's concerns and we've really involved the community and for me that's the real success of this project. It's a great opportunity and I'm so proud to stand here after 15 years of hard work by hundreds of people developing the strategy, designing the scheme and then actually building it in what were very challenging conditions. We've reached the point where the Environment Agency's construction is pretty much complete. The banks are finished, the breach is made, 
the seawater is in and the wildlife habitats are beginning to form. And it really is a triumph. It's looking fantastic and Medmarie has been born.